Okay, so I've just ordered, on a bit of a whim, a Canon 1D Mark II from MPB. It was an absolute bargain, in my opinion, under £100, but it was faulty. But there are a couple of things that made me think it might not be that bad. But it's ordered now, let's wait for it to arrive and pick it up then. See if I've made a mistake, if I've bought an expensive paperweight. I've got myself a nice little pro body camera for under £100. We'll wait and see when it lands, find out then. Okay, so a few days later, box from MTV has arrived. Let's have a look what we've got. A bargain camera. This big charger that you get. I guess it anyway. I don't even know. Let's just start with that. Plug powers that. Here we go. One very nicely wrapped camera. I'll tell you what. After holding my A7, that has a weight about it. Without a doubt, first indications are it's not powering up, which is potentially just a flat battery to start with. So we'll start by taking this out and charging it. Oh, pick it up. Turn that out, get that charged up, and I'll see how we go from there. But looking at the camera body, it looks in pretty good condition. Have a close look now. Okay, so the charging cable that came with it was brand new. Charger also looks to be pretty much brand new. Uh, these are the bits from the charging cable. We're just charging the battery up now. Genuine Canon battery, again, yeah, all reasonable. But let's have a take a look at the camera. Now the camera has got an error 99 code, um, but it was described as having very light use. Now the error 99 code could well be the shutters has failed, um, which would be pretty much make this a waste of money and time but in such good condition i'd be surprised i mean this is a pro body camera so the shutter should be good for 250,000 clicks this doesn't really look look at the rubbers it doesn't really look like it's gonna have done 250,000. so my hope is that it's one of the other options which is either the lens contacts require cleaning but they look pretty clean or the other option is the small internal battery find just in there which i've already got one ready so while the battery's charging i'm gonna get a screwdriver and get to work swapping that out
Put one in. Right, motor truth. Battery packs in. Powered up. Let's have a look. Uh, set date and time. Select, select, select. No SD card. All right, so we've just got a no SD card issue. We've not got a error anymore, which is positive. Let me just get an SD card. We'll see how we get on from here. SD card. Let us keep our fingers crossed. Card two not formatted. Not as intuitive as a new camera. That, or oh, the wheel's broken. I think we may have another issue here. I think that jockey wheel may not be working. Can't move across to that men menu. Right, back to the drawing board. Let's figure out what that, what, what could be wrong with the wheel. Back to the drawing board. Okay, so we've got the power up and running. Everything's working, charged up. However, we're going to sense cleaning mode and ta-da, worst fears, shutter failure. So that's ground that to a halt. I thought I'd get away with just a quick and easy battery change. Uh, given the condition of the camera, as I said at the start, was nice and tidy, didn't look to have had too much wear. However, if we look in there, we can nicely see that the shutter mechanism has completely and utterly given up life. So that'll teach me for gambling on a potential easy fix. So oh, never mind, there's a local repair guy. I might ask him to see what the damage would be to repair the shutter mechanism just to get a working camera out of it all. I might also just list it back on eBay, take it from there. But you know, never mind. I can uh, I can say for a very brief period, I owned a uh, Canon 1D Mark II. Not that it really matters. Uh, in the background there, you'll see I do have a nice Sony A7 III as well. So it's not like I'm without a camera. And obviously of course that is a superior camera really by a long stretch in every way this one i just kind of wanted to have that uh, nice pro body for a little bit but you know didn't work out never mind that's why with the idea of repackaging it and selling it or just seeing uh, what the cost repair would be thanks for following along on this depressing journey and then um, look forward to uh, sharing some more bits and pieces with you in the future cheers thank you bye